Okay guys, welcome to my edition of Cell Biology. And this is going to be video one. The, uh, we're just going to go into very basics and learn a little bit about what's important about the cell and how it works. And I'm going to try to teach it to you in a way that you might understand. A lot of teachers and stuff don't understand that <laughs> us new beginners that don't know anything about a simple little cell, we need the full details to understand it. So, get your notebooks, paper, and pen. And I'm going to try to go over this pretty fast during video time. And you can pause it wherever you want to and rewind it if uh, you miss something. Okay. Biology. The first part of this word means living. So, and the second part is the study of. So, putting it together, you know, it's living and you're making a study of the living, of life. Okay, it's basically life and study, right there. Okay, and over here, as you can see, this is our diagram to cell. We're going to go over in a minute. I want to explain something to you so that you can understand while we're going over to cell, maybe to help you relate to what it is, because a lot of people go, what in the world is that? Human beings here. You and I are human beings. And so, are, you know, even animals have uh, the same cells we do. And we're called an organism. Anyways, and inside our whole body, we have these parts that make us work as a system. And it is like your heart, your lungs, your intestines, all that sort inside your body. Okay? And that's what's making us an organism along with the very smartest, uh, smallest structure, which is uh, the cell. The cell also, okay, this is a cell. And inside the cell, it has little bitty parts also, just like you and I. And it's not called organs, but instead it's called organelles. Okay? And a eukaryote. You might want to write that down so that I don't want you to know too much about it right now. But write that down so that that looks familiar when you do come along uh, and across that. Okay, now. You might want to draw the outside of the cell first, and we'll start here. And this is called a cell membrane, okay? This membrane is like the skin on our bodies. But for the cell, of course, it's not visible. They're very translucent. And, uh, and inside this cell membrane, it has little tiny openings where only certain, and we'll go over that later, it lets certain proteins or whatever uh, uh, molecules in and out of its structure. Okay, like we have the brain, okay, also the cell has a brain. And in the very center here, you can see this is the DNA uh, that is what will say whether you have red hair, two legs, or you're going to be a furry a uh, dog or even a feathered duck. It's a matter of how many chromosomes you carry, which we'll go over later, and, and, and this is a very important part of the cell. Also known as the, if you follow this line, the chromatin. This chromatin is inside, draw a small circle in the center, it's inside the nucleolus, okay? The nucleolus. Outside of the nucleolus, is another enclosing, and that is called the nucleus. Okay, oops, sorry, the nucleus. So, uh, in the nucleus, is basically the protection for this, the housing for this, and it also has what you call the nuclear pores, which you really don't need to worry about that, but if you're planning on going to uh, nursing school, go ahead and get it. Uh, it has little holes here in which it lets ribosomes or such go in and out of the brain area, okay? Then we have a little round like structure, usually is related to carbs, uh, your lysosome, okay? And it's, I usually like to do it in yellow, but I didn't have a yellow pen, okay? And we'll go over the details of that later. Then here we have a little organelle, which is shaped almost like a bacteria, kind of. And you can see inside these little squigglies here is representing it also carries DNA of its own. Mitochondria. 
anyways, it, it's the powerhouse. Remember that, like the energy source. So that's how I remembered it. Okay, and this little small circle, which will be smaller, is a ribosome. Okay, that is going to be kind of like the car uh, and also the uh, copy machine of the DNA that is inside the nucleolus. Okay, it's going to be your, you'll hear RNA transcription. You might want to write that down so that it looks familiar for you. Okay, and here, as you can see, this little squiggly here, you'll see it, it's kind of uh, layers of uh, material here where you see the little round circles, which are the ribosomes on it, and it is referred to as the rough endoplasmic reticulum, okay? And for sure, short, you can put R-E-E-R. -E Beside it is an example of the, the smooth ER. Okay, this is known as, a lot of people want to think of this as kind of like a train station. This is where your ribosomes are going to, you're going to have a, I'll explain detail, but just think of it as a, as a train station, okay? Then you got your Golgi apparatus, which resembles the ER, but it's, it's a bit smaller, a little bit different. Uh, um, I guess design. I'll have to show that to you in great detail later because we don't have time. And it, it has a very important job. It, it, you know, it's pretty much the, it's very important. We'll go over that later. Centrioles, which are usually located close to the nucleus. And what their job is, and I'll show that to you later, is it spits out the spindles and it'll help the cell when it's going to split and reproduce to make two cells and pull the DNA to one side. Okay, what did I forget? Cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is the liquid inside the cell in which the organelles float. So it's, it's pretty easy to remember. And these are the basics. There is more to a cell, but these are the basics that most people want you to know. And so uh, I hope that helped you out some. And like I said, you can rewind the tape, go back over it, and, uh, and get to know the cell a little bit better. I know it looks overwhelming at first, but it gets worse, guys. So just, you know, do a little game or draw a picture. That's how I did it. Uh, just take your, you know, just get a, uh, any kind of paper out and draw a picture of the cell, what you can remember, and do that every day for about a week. And I'm sure it'll be no problem whatsoever. Alright, be looking for video number two. I hope that helped.